What's going on guys? It's Ryan from Ryan and Crystal's Reviews and today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday everybody. And it means it's time to check out some toys. So we're going to check out today the Zhe Ling Marvel Legends action figure. So a uh, little background on this. So she is Shang-Chi's brother. It's her estranged brother, that is. Um, so we'll see the back here. If you want to read that, take a quick pause. And it says, her strange brother Shang-Chi suddenly shows up in her life. Zhe Ling must choose between the solidar solidarity life. I don't know how to say things today. She's created for herself or join her brother in the fight for against the Ten Rings. I don't know how to talk today. So there's a side, the top with the symbol, bottom, side, and there she is in the window. So we have already opened up the Shang-Chi video, which I did oh, a couple weeks ago. I think it was now. Um, so... If you want to, go check that video out. It's up on the channel. If I can get this one open. I always worry with these Marvel Legends about... I don't want to, like, damage the box, so I try to use my knife as much as possible. And I know that sounds weird, but it seems like my knife has more luck with not damaging the box. All right. There she is out of the packaging. So we get the Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure piece. This is the chest piece and leg piece and I've got the left leg here that goes to him just to see if we're going to try to get get this put together here there we go so so far there's our build a figure and then you get a couple accessories or you get one accessory and then some hands Go ahead. Actually, okay, let's go ahead and get her out of the package so we can take a look. All right, so here she is out of the packaging. Kind of focus in. If I can get it to focus in on the head here. You can see the likeness. It's pretty good. Um, as far as articulation, Hands will go all the way around, arms will go all the way around. You get a little bit, you really don't get much of a elbow bend. That's about, that's what you get there. Hands go this way and they'll go up and down, vertical. Or you can even get them to go that way. So this will do the same thing. So you can kind of get her in a kind of a Kung Fu type style pose. You get a little bit of She'll go back that much, bend, and then she gets a little bit of crunch and then a little bit of the waist joint there. Legs go that way. Double jointed knee, which again, looks kind of funny when you look at it, but is what it is. And then she, ankles go that way. A little bit of ankle pivot and just barely a little bit up and down. Lego kick up almost not almost to 45 or be 90, excuse me, and then the back leg goes just about right there. So head wise, oh, that was the look up just about like that, not very much, and then she will look down. So then we get some accessories here. You get one accessory, which is the the rope accessory, and then you get a you get a closed fisted hand. That's a left hand. You get a closed fisted right hand. I like to do this. A lot of a lot of guys or a lot of uh, reviewers will take all the stuff out of the box first and then do it. I kind of like to do it this way just because it shows the struggle is real sometimes. Hashtag struggle is real. And you get this really cool. There we go. Let's finish with the hands. You've got a. Um, it's kind of a weird. You get a hand. I don't know if you can kind of see that. We're working on getting a light box to help with some of these reviews and some of the things for us to do. So the hand is kind of like this. Or it's just these two. She's just touching this finger. So it's kind of like that. And then you get your kind of typical holding hand. 
and then you get the right hand that does that, or it's like this. And then you get this really cool rope with a, a spike on the end, kind of like a scorpion style uh, rope, or whatever you would call that. So there she is there. I mean, really, I mean, not a bad figure as I drop it. Thankfully, I dropped it on the table. Um, not a bad figure. Like I said, this is her, um, this is Shang-Chi's sister. So, I mean, not, not really a bad figure at all. You see there, I'll try to get a little closer. You can kind of see the likeness. Um, but not, not really that bad of a figure. Pretty solid figure. And then we can, let's say, let's take this hand off and let's um, kind of go there and then take that hand off. That is the wrong hand. Go here. Now the rope, I will say the rope is in this position, in this position only. It doesn't unravel to be like a long piece. You Maybe you could, but if you do, you're definitely going to damage it. I mean, you might, I don't, I don't even think you could. No, I don't think you can. So this is, this is your only, that's your only option is in that, that way right there. So, eh, not, not really the, the coolest thing ever. Um, again, these, these hands where she's kind of going like this, they are closed off at the fingers. So you can't really slide the rope um, through there anyway, as you can see, see it's, it's, it's closed off. So you can't, you can't, you can't grab a hold of it there. If I can try to get that in the camera there, you can't grab a hold of it and this won't slide in there any way, shape or form. So that's kind of, that's kind of odd. Um, so I guess the only hand you can use to actually hold the rope is this hand. And pretty much got to hold it kind of like that, I would think. So that's pretty much what you got right there. So then we need to take this hand off. And need to put it. And it doesn't even really do that great of a job of staying in there. So that's really, that's really all you're going to get out of, out of this is let's kind of say she's got it. She's kind of got it down to the side here. Is that right there? That's really the only posability you're going to, you're going to get out of that rope is for basically holding it to the side. Um, I don't, I don't really like that. I would, I would have preferred to have something a little more dynamic than that, than just kind of her just being able to hold it. Um, you know, I would have preferred something, maybe I would have liked to have seen maybe a rope that was, that was, you know, wasn't bolted together. So maybe you could act like she was kind of throwing it. Um, and then again, I'm not really sure what, I'm not really sure what these hands, these style of hands are supposed to be for. Um, said obviously this movie hasn't come out yet we talk about this movie a lot on the channel through on other videos i did a trailer reaction video to the official trailer which is also up on the channel um last week i think it came out so again you know not much there there's a look at the back piece you know i mean the her outfit isn't really that bad let me try to do that to help focus it um, I don't know if that really focused or not, but that's what I'm saying. We're working, I'm on a, I'm getting a light box. We're going to, we're going to get a light box. We'll do a better setup here to review some of these figures, because like I said, a lot of these figures, it's not really the best to just kind of look at you guys and review the figure. It'd be better if I had a light box, we could point the camera. That way it focuses a little better. Um, so there is Jay Ling. That is Shang-Chi's, uh, sister. Um, I'd probably give this figure, I don't know. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of posability for it. I don't think, 
um, other than just the typical posability. Like with Shang Chi, at least he had you know he's got that that baton stick thing where you can kind of play around with that a little bit. Her weapon, you can't. It, that's it. That's all you're getting out of it. Um, so not really the best figure, but at the same time, you know, not a terrible figure. We'll see what she's going to do in the movie, how she plays out, because usually that that um, that has something to do with... The, uh, to me, that's always got something to do with whether a figure is going to be a popular figure or it's just going to kind of bust out. Um, is how is how is the character in the film is the character and that kind of goes along with the hot toys right and that's one of the reasons i've got a couple hot toys i want to show you guys and, and review and i'm getting more but again I, I i don't feel like i'm doing them justice by sitting here and just speaking forward and trying to show you guys in my phone or my camera um i think it's better if we get the light box set up in here and we we go that route that way you guys can really see the details on those figures because I mean, those figures, and you guys know Hot Toys that, that watch this channel, watch the figures, you guys know those about those. Those figures are so great. They're so phenomenal. The detail on them is amazing. It blows any other figure out of the water, in my opinion. And um, I've got probably a hundred of them, you know, and I've even sold a bunch in the last couple of years just because I had to make room for others. Um, so that's that's um that's coming soon and we're going to do a bunch of we'll be doing a bunch of hot toys reviews but for today we're just doing a marvel legends review and this is the marvel legends jay ling uh, appreciate y'all watching and please like and subscribe don't forget that uh crystal has her own website shinysequin.com s-h-i-n-y-c-q-u-i-n Dot com where you can go buy a lot of the dresses that she wears, things that she picks up, the um, the chicken nuggets and the necklaces. She just happens to have hers right here. That's the only reason why it was there. Those are up on the website. I know there's um, there's been a lot of talk about those. Everywhere we go, people just seem to love those. It's the first one of the first things that's mentioned is, "Oh my God, is that a chicken on your on your neck?" Yes, it is. So please go check that out. Uh, link will be in the description below. And we appreciate y'all watching, appreciate y'all subscribing to the um, to the channel and supporting. We really, really, really appreciate it. Can't thank y'all enough. And we did do our giveaway um, last week on Saturday. Congratulations to the winner. And we're going to be doing more giveaways in the future, so stay tuned because we are going to be giving a lot of stuff away. And it's not just going to be cheap stuff. It's going to be some good stuff, too. So please continue to subscribe. Please share the link, share the channel. Help us get to more subscribers. We'd love to get up to a 1,000. That'd be amazing and continue on from there. So appreciate it, guys. Have a great day. It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. Go out and get some tacos. It's two days into the week. I already feel like this week's already been way too long as it is. And But, hey, we're going to get through tomorrow. And then before you know it, it's going to be Friday again. And, hey, tomorrow's new comic book day. So we got that going for us. So appreciate it, guys. And we will see you tomorrow for new comic book day. Read those comics.